Hey guys, I am back. Uh, this is Friday, January 29th, 2021, and I'm using this skillet, which I showed in the last vid video. If you didn't watch that, uh, check it out right now. But uh, this one was clean. There was gunk stuck on here from fried potatoes, and my video shows all about how to get it clean. Of course, the seasoning in this, uh, it doesn't always go on the way it does in my vintage skillets. But what we're going to do is we're going to spray non-GMO avocado oil. It's 100% avocado oil, no propellants or anything like that. And we're going to make grilled cheese. So we're trying to use the skillet to make it look better and keep it more and more non-stick. So I will be back when I turn those over and we'll see how it does. Okay guys, I flipped them over and they're not, this skillet is not quite as non-stick as I would have hoped, especially after all the seasoning. So I sprayed uh, the avocado oil on and I coated these sandwiches in butter. I am making tuna melts, but I'm not showing that in this video, I'm just showing how the skillet is performing. And I will be back in the very end. And it just seems to want to stick. It doesn't seem, I usually make those these sandwiches in my griddle. It's a lot easier to spread the butter on top without the sides. That's why I love my griddle. But just showing uh, the cooking in this, it's now sticking a little bit. Yeah, I'm not real happy with the stargazer. Um, but anyway. We're going to come back after these are done, and we'll clean it up and see if we can get it a little bit more seasoned and making it look good and building seasoning on it so it cooks the way it should. All right, I will be back. Okay, we're pretty much done. These turned out to be nonstick. You just have to leave them down a little while longer. I was just in a hurry to turn them. So we're going to go ahead and put them on our plates. Here, I'm going to have this nice salad with it, and a little bit sticking there. It's cheese. Cheese will always stick to a degree. And I'm holding the, uh, there we go, the um, holder. I can't think of the word. Anyway, there it is there. So it's getting darker, and I'm going to go ahead and clean it up, and I will be back to show you the result. Okay, guys, I'm back again. Uh, we're all done with the skillet, all done with dinner. Um, it's super smooth, so it doesn't tend to want to hold on to seasoning well. It does look a lot better than what it did before. I just did a normal cleaning, non-abrasive scrubber, dried it off, and did a mini reseasoning. Um, used this um, spray here, avocado oil. It has no propellants in it. It's 100% avocado oil. It has a high smoke point, so I let it uh, smoke on there for probably three or four minutes. Then it just wiped it down really well and, and we'll start to use it some more. I'm going to have to use it a lot more to get a uniform look all around. Maybe uh, do some pig's bacon in it, that kind of thing. But you have to cook in the cast iron. But to me, vintage seems to work better than the modern. Uh, maybe some of the other brands, uh, people have Field Company or they have Butter Pat and some of the other ones. Uh, but these aren't if I'd have known, I probably would not have purchased them, but you know, you don't know. I mean, it'll be fine. I'll just use it for, I really don't care the way it looks <laughs> so much anymore. I do, but I'm, you know, just going to have to cook more with this to get it to have a uniform look. So it's Stargazer, super smooth surface. It's like as smooth as glass. Uh, almost nothing for the seasoning to hold on to. All right, guys, thanks again for watching. Please give me a thumb up. Uh, leave a question or comment below. And go make it a great day.